this is the median sagittal section of the head and neck in this section we can see here the nasal septum the nasal septum is a median osseocartilaginous partition separating the two halves of the nasal cavities on each side the nasal septum is covered with mucous membrane and it forms the medial wall of the nasal cavity of the two sides the nasal septum is formed by three parts bony part cartilaginous part and cuticular part now the bony part of the nasal septum is mainly formed by the perpendicular plate of ethmoid from above and by the vomer bone posteriorly so there are two main contributions perpendicular plate of ethmoid and vomer the nasal septum also receives minor contribution from its margins namely the nasal spine of the frontal bone rostrum of the sphenoid bone and the nasal crest of the nasal palatine and the maxillary bones the cartilaginous part is mainly formed by the septal cartilage anteriorly and the septal process of inferior nasal cartilage the third is the cuticular part the cuticular part is formed by a fibro fatty tissue covered by skin and this lower margin of the septum is known as columella now if we see the blood supply of the nasal septum this antero inferior part of the nasal septum is known as vestibule where there is a rich anastomotic network among different arteries these arteries are the septal ramus of the superior labial branch of facial artery from below sphenopalatine artery posterior inferiorly from above there is a anterior ethmoidal artery posterior ethmoidal artery all these arteries form a rich capillary network in this part that is a antero inferior part of the septum this area is known as littles area and this rich capillary network is known as kisselbach's plexus this is a common site for bleeding from the nose the bleeding from the nose is known as epistaxis so this is the nasal septum now in the other specimen we can see the lateral wall of nose this is the lateral wall of nose which is irregular because of the presence of three shelf like bony projections which are known as concha so these are the three concha inferior nasal concha middle nasal concha and superior nasal concha these concha increase the surface area of the nose for effective air conditioning of the inspired air the lateral wall of nose is subdivided into three regions the anterior most part this is known as the vestibule which is lined by modified skin and it contains short stiff curved hairs known as vibrissae the middle part is this part which is a depressed area known as atrium of middle meatus which is located just in front of the middle meatus of nose and the posterior part is covered by the concha and the passages or the spaces which are there underneath concha they are known as meatuses so this is the inferior meatus underneath the inferior concha this is the middle meatus underneath middle concha this is the superior meatus underneath superior concha and above, above superior concha there is a small fossa this is the sphenoethmoidal recess so this is the inferior nasal concha which is an independent bone the largest concha whereas the middle and superior nasal concha are part of ethmoid bones out of which the smallest is the superior nasal concha now in each meatus there are openings of various sinuses in the inferior meatus at the junction of anterior 1/3 and posterior 2/3 here 
there is opening of nasolacrimal duct this opening is guarded by a valve a lacrimal fold which is known as hessner's valve in the middle meatus we can see there is a rounded elevation this rounded elevation is known as ethmoidal bulla or bulla ethmoidalis it is produced because of underlying middle ethmoidal air sinuses and just beneath the bulla there is a semicircular sulcus this semicircular sulcus is the hiatus semilunaris the anterior end of the hiatus has a short passage which is known as infundibulum on the margin or on the surface of the bulla there is opening of middle ethmoidal air sinus the infundibulum that is the anterior most end of hiatus semilunaris has the opening of frontal air sinus behind which there is opening of anterior ethmoidal air sinus whereas the posterior end of the hiatus has the opening of maxillary air sinus the superior meatus has the opening of posterior ethmoidal air sinuses whereas the sphenoethmoidal recess has the opening of the sphenoidal air sinus so this is the sphenoidal air sinus which opens in the sphenoethmoidal recess and this is the frontal air sinus which will open in the infundibulum here at the anterior end of hiatus semilunaris so in this specimen again we can see this is the middle concha underneath it this is the middle meatus and this rounded elevation is bulla ethmoidalis beneath which there is the hiatus semilunaris so these are the important features in the lateral wall of nose